Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mr. M3 YouTube channel. This is my first video in about two years. So I'm back on track again and I have a lot to share. Today what we're going to do is give you a oh, 10 minute overview or so of what's M3 in the cloud. So this is going to be a generic M3 overview, but this would apply to any of the cloud suite verticals that in for M3 support, such as fashion, food and beverage, chemical life science, equipment, service rental, distribution, manufacturing, all of this will apply for your industries. The first thing I want to point out is this is true multi-tenant. I am live with thousands and thousands of other users all using this same exact tenant. How cool is that? No more blinking lights and expensive i-series equipment that you're going to need to maintain. In fact, on day one, you're instantly mobile. This is a website. You can size it and it's responsive and you can have something for your phone specifically. On day one, you are instantly mobile with the responsive site. People ask me about the speed. I, I work with people globally all the time, people from India, all China. It, it is beautiful, it runs beautifully. So here we go, let's take a look at it. So it looks different, right? Oh, it's, it's M3, it's the wine, but it's a different bottle. And this is N4OS, that's what we're looking at today. N4OS is the main operating service that N4 utilizes for its cloud suites. So let's break this down a little bit. You see these boxes here, these are widgets. And my widgets here, these are drill backs directly into M3. So when you think about that, think about today's world, maybe you're getting a report and it's orders on back order. But now you click on a link and bam, there they are. In my other videos, we're going to talk about how to configure these, but any end user can configure these monitors. Very handy because it instantly is going to notify you on your phone, even your watch, or on your dashboard, on your homepage, what's going on in your world. So here you can see orders and credit stop, orders on back order, orders past due, things to be invoiced, to be picked, all really important information that you're going to need to know. In addition to that, orders by channel. So at ICCG, we, we believe it's your choice to pick whatever e-commerce solution that you want. So if you wanna to integrate to Magento, we've done that. If you wanna to integrate to Shopify, we've done that. So what, whatever that is, and maybe you have those as channels. Maybe you have 60 websites, it doesn't matter. So these monitors are a great way to pull your data and bring it up front where it's important for you to look at. In addition, we have these transactions. If you're experienced with M3, these are M3 programs or M3 applications. Very easy to configure. We won't go into that today. This is more of a drive-through to see what, what that experience is going to look like. Here I'm working with my ICCG customer service homepage, and I have access to many homepages in my world maybe a service management homepage specific to service management, equipment maintenance. The value for you is that you're able to take departmental business processes, create a homepage for them, and then just those programs are presented to them. And you can mix match and all of those things. I mentioned these are widgets. Out of the box, when you turn the system on, you're going to have a large amount of widgets available for you to grab. My favorite is the what's new widget because in the cloud, new functionality is pushed out every 30 days. So let's add the what's new widget. What's new? And just like that, I've added that widget and now that's a part of my homepage. And if I scroll down to the bottom, I have all this new stuff. What's, what's happening in the cloud? What's happening with factory track? What's happening with Mongoose? I'll have another video on how to figure out what's new in the Infor world. But for now, it's just to give you a feel for these really cool homepages that I'm very excited about. 
And what's up with this featured items box? What's this all about? Well, this is Infor Document Management. What this does is holds all the Infor M3 documents in one place as well as your own media. It could be a video, it could be a picture, it could be a logo, it could be an invoice, it could be a signed invoice, it could be an autographed picture of Mr. M3 himself. Whatever you want inside that featured items box, you can do that. And you can call that all throughout the system. Customer calls up and wants a copy of a past due invoice, no problem. You now have that at your fingertips to deliver any way that you want to internally or externally or share. Internal collaboration, so no longer are you sending emails about, hey, what's the update on this invoice? No, you're going to, you are going to internally collaborate. Say, hey, Sean Connor, what's going on with this invoice? And that's going to show up on my homepage. So not another email to take care of. No, just a simple post. And look at the cool thing about this. As you're collaborating, you have an active post available mobily on your phone or on your desktop. Look at the details. Look at this. Drill back directly into the invoice itself. How cool is that? You're linking aspects of the system back to each other. You're not having to remember programs or anything like that. And how great is this stuff? We haven't really even gotten into Core M3. This is all the icing on top, the cherries and the frosting. It makes data actionable from the system directly. On some of my next videos, I'm going to show you how you can create these monitors and the power of that. So like this video, so then that way you'll see what's coming next. I think what I'm going to do is create a dynamic aging so that I'll have a monitor for 30, 60, 90, 120 days out just so you can see the power of grabbing data from the system and presenting it to you specifically. As we continue going on, what are some of these other things? Well, we already saw the post. That was cool. Here's another monitor that I'm just starting to set up for EDI issues and monitoring those. I have this alert list. What's this all about? Purchase orders, sales orders. Hey, guess what? You can now subscribe to database changes. Any change, like a new order, an expensive order, a purchase order past due. All of it with drill back directly into that order or purchase order or whatever it is that you need to. How much time is this going to save you? A huge, huge part of Infor OS are workflows. What is a workflow? Well, let me tell you what a workflow. So in your world today, maybe something goes on credit hold and it needs to be reviewed. That's what a workflow does. And this is just one example. Purchasing workflows. What are the thresholds you allow your buyers to buy at? That's managed through workflows and approval. Where is it at in the process? I know exactly where it is. Multi-levels, maybe you're creating a new customer and you need to have one person validate the credit limits and another person needs to validate the salesperson. You would handle that through workflows where you have various people setting up various pieces and you can escalate them. You can be at the golf course and improve orders. Very powerful. We will get into workflows at a later time. There's just so much to show you. This is just a good overview of what's going on. In this case, if I look at this, I can see my information that this particular customer is at credit limit three. I can assign it to me. I can assign it to someone else. I can put it on hold. I can release it. I can do all of this with my phone while I'm playing golf if I so wanted to. How cool is that? Think about the productivity improvements. Pretty neat. And if I sound passionate about this, it's because I am. If you're on an old version or no ERP at all, this is pretty powerful stuff. This is a game changer and has been for the last couple of years. So stay tuned. I'm going to be doing more videos on widgets, configuration of widgets, configuration on M3 specific data. 
And also I'll put a link to ICCG's global YouTube channel where we're going to address specific industry needs at a larger scale. Thanks again for checking out my first video for 2021. And make sure you hit that like and subscribe button.